But let's do one thing. Let's talk about Mahanagar Gas now. Um, the company has hiked CNG prices, remember, by one and a half rupees a kilo for CNG and one per SCM for PNG. The company says the price hike was due to shortfall in domestic gas allocation. To discuss this, this and more, we have asked Ashu Shingal, who is the MD of MGL, who joins us now. Ashu, thanks a lot for joining and appreciate your time here. I just want to understand what is the reason for this price hike and with spot LNG prices going higher from here, are we staring at more price hikes by companies like yours and between domestic and imported gas in terms of raw material sourcing? If you can also help us with what is the split currently? Yeah, the price hike is mainly because of two reasons. One, that the APM gas allocation has come down substantially over the last one year's time, as well as the price of LNG has gone up. So we were getting APM gas, which was which is at $6.5, from 82%, it has come down to 68%. So there is substantial reduction in the APM gas, which is the domestically available cheap gas. And the LNG prices were earlier uh, down, but now it has started increasing again. So we are constrained to increase one and a half rupees in the CNG prices. However, still we are the cheapest in the country in terms of CNG prices and PNG prices. Okay. Mr. Shingle, hi. Good morning. Uh, uh, Prashant here. So, uh, could you tell us, uh, do you anticipate any uh, impact on volumes? You say you're still the cheapest, so I'm assuming uh, no. So, what will, wh what's your volume growth uh, outlook uh, for this year? And what about uh, margins, sir? EBITDA margins? Uh, will, uh, you know, wh 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 what will this do to margins? Will you be north of uh, 10 rupees per SCM? Yeah, the volume growth is expected to be better this year because overall the population of CNG vehicle is increasing as well as the CGD infrastructure is also improving. So last year, year on year, we have clocked uh, uh, a growth of around 5.5%. This year, we expect to be more than uh, growth year on year. 24-25 will be more than 7% higher. Regarding the, what's the other question, sorry? A margin, sir. A bit yeah, of margins. Are, uh, earlier last year we were nine and a half rupees per SCM. This year it was thirteen and a half rupees per SCM. I mean year on year. However, uh, going forward, you are right. Maybe we will clock around eleven rupees or ten to twelve rupees could be the new guidance which we can expect this year. All right. Uh, hi, Mr. Singhal. Uh, good morning and thanks a lot for joining. And, you know, we had a new bike, a CNG bike that was launched from the Bajaj uh, Auto on the last Friday itself. And some on the street believe this could throw up an opportunity. Have you done any back of the envelope calculations? What kind of a volume boost could it be, say, in the next year? Maybe this year may not be too much, but in FI26 onwards, do you think it could boost up your volume substantially? Uh, not really, because the bike, per bike consumption, the cylinder capacity is only 2 kg. So, to see any significant increase in our volumes, the number of volumes, one number of bikes should be very huge. So, it will take some time. Maybe next year, we will get some volume, maybe 2-3%, and afterwards, it can increase further more. But definitely, it will take some time to, one, that people are getting used to the new bike, although it is definitely much more advantageous in terms of running cost. As far as Mumbai is concerned, we expect that running a bike on petrol versus running a bike on CNG, CNG will be around 40% the cost of running a bike on petrol. So there is substantial saving on running cost. And even the capital cost is not expected to be very high in the petrol bike. So we think this will be a, going to be a very good segment. And uh, we will be doing, uh, we will be in talk with the Bajaj. Already we are in discussions with them to see how we can help their initiative because we appreciate this is an excellent initiative to give common men and to people in large who are using bike a very good advantage of a very low running cost. Okay, all right. The other big event that we are looking forward to is Budget 2024. Is there a possibility of excise duty cut on CNG in the upcoming budget? We are hearing that, but we don't know for sure because unless the budget is passed and what is included in the budget or not. The other point which we are hearing is maybe the gas can be included in GST. Because if mm. that so happens, then excise duty cut will not be required. It will be one tax regime for okay. the gas segment itself. So if it's included, then what kind of a benefit is it for you? You know, if the second part happens, uh, gets included under GST, then uh, what kind of a benefit could be for you as well as for the industry? For MGL, it will be a pass-through because any tax is not on our account. It is passed through to the customer. 
so uh, customer segment industrial and commercial particularly will get benefited in terms of uh, they can if their input tax credit which they get and their product is under gst and the in raw material is not under gst then they don't get input tax credit so maybe mm -hmm. they will product price will be uh, they can get some benefit there MGL it will be a pass through for PNG segment okay. it can slightly increase the prices because PNG cannot take any uh, because currently the VAT in Maharashtra is three so if gas is included more than three percent then maybe there can be some increase in PNG prices. Mm. Uh, Mr. Shingal, uh, just to go back to that earlier point on uh, on the the bike right but so for example we've had this uh, new bike CNG bike and maybe others will also uh, launch uh, bikes. Uh, we had uh, UP, for example, which has made registration fee for hybrid vehicles, uh, wa waived off the registration fee. My point is, and CNG is an important segment, right? Almost three quarters of your business vol uh, volumes are CNG. So uh, will this uh, will this push the network expansion, more CNG stations, etc.? Could you give us a sense of how that is likely to come through? Uh, and, and what are the volumes you're ex volume, what kind of volume growth are you expecting for that segment? Uh, it's small right now, this bikes, uh, the bikes per se, but if there is a sustained push all across, uh, could this uh, quicken the pace there? Yeah, it will take some time. I mean, the volume mm. growth will take some time because of the impact of the bike only, because around mm. three, four lakhs, uh, three-wheeler auto is there. And three-wheeler auto takes around four, three and a half to four kg, around three kg per fill, whereas bike will take around two kg per fill. So double the numbers will give us maybe 10% volume, but then the numbers of bikes should be around 7-8 lakhs, which will take a substantial period to come to that number in Mumbai or in our geographical areas. CGD infrastructure, any which way we are going to increase because this year we are planning to put up around 85 stations, including Unison uh, 30 and our stations put together. So we are anyway going to increase our CNG infrastructure, uh, either the bike is there or not there. On Anyway, it, going to add one more segment, which is a very welcome thing for us, company like CGDs. Hmm. Uh, no, I uh, got that. What about the other two uh, segments, sir, of the uh, uh, the industrial segment, which is about 10% of volumes? How is that likely to uh, grow? Any triggers there? Yeah, industrial segment, last year we have grown by 12%. This year we are expecting more than 10% once again because new infrastructure is getting created in new uh, Navi Mumbai, Thane and Raigarh, plus Unison also. So we are adding no more industrial areas into our catchment areas. So more segment is expected to be added. Plus we have designed our contracts more uh, user friendly, customer friendly. And the pricing also is done as per their alternate fuel pricing. So we think that the segment in industrial and commercial both will grow more than 10% this year. Okay, we will uh, leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining us and speaking to CNBC TV. Team. That's Mahanagar Gas. The stock is actually up almost about 4% and has been one of the big movers in the last many days.